Hello, this is Elijah Wells, and today's review is Goodbye Christopher Robin. The story is, it's about A.A. Mill who pretty much got back from World War One or the war to end all wars, and pretty much tries to, and pretty much struggles through life from in London, and pretty much uh, uh, has a, now has a son uh, called Christopher uh, Robin Melm, and that he moves all the way to the countryside. Despite his son not fitting in, and after the fact that he's, uh, that he's, his relationship uh, with uh, his wife began to fall apart due to his lack of progress in writing, so he, uh, before after writing an anti-war poem, he began to write a book that would please his uh, his son, and pretty much uh, named all characters, interact, and pretty much for the story of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Winnie Pooh was named after Winnipeg, Winnipeg uh, the bear, or, or named after a Canadian city of Winnipeg. And of course, the acting is brilliant, especially how it depicts PTSD, since um, A. A. Mill uh, was at uh, World War One, and and he pretty much has uh, flashbacks, and the and pretty much can be unsettled either by uh, bright lights or uh, a balloon popping or pretty much a snowball uh, like pretty much like that he pretty much has a sudden episode of flashbacks yeah although I like the acting as well I think as I took some issues about the film well, the film is flawed, but I have some issues with it. Like, I feel like the pacing was just too fast. I feel like, I feel like within like the first ten minutes, we explored like his brief war into window, how he how he met his wife, then his, then of course he pretty much uh, uh, his performance in Lon his uh, his play in London, and saying he's moving to the countryside. Yeah, it pretty much uh, explores, and also he gives. Uh, he has a son, Crystal Robin, all within 10 minutes. Pretty much too much within the opening scene, opening fit movie. Another issue I took liberty with is that it barely explored the World War One. Uh, uh, him at World War One. Pretty much had. It's only reviewed uh, when his when his publisher pretty much uh, talks about it midway through the film and. Uh, when he has flashback episodes or PTSD episodes, all in all, uh, the story, well, on, on the point of view of uh, Christopher Robin, the son of A. A. Mill, kind of reminds me somewhat of Tale of Princess Kaguya, which is a movie by Isaya Takahata. It's one of my favorite films of a decade already. Yeah, what reminds me of uh, Goodbye Christopher Robin and uh, Tale of Princess Kaguya is pretty much. Uh, uh, a, a very tip, a very typical family, pretty much. Uh, unlike Tell Princess Guru case, where it's moved to a, a big, a fancy Japanese mansion, while for this time, well for this time, uh, Goodbye Chris Robin, they moved to a small countryside in Britain or where I live, and pretty much uh, become and the child or the young or the young character of the film uh, becomes famous. Uh, through what happened, well, for her, she's just famous because reasons, or that she, I mean, uh, she's a princess and everyone talks about her. Well, with this, well, goodbye, Christopher Robin. It's pretty much uh, he's the basis of the move of the character of Robin of uh, of Christopher Robin in the Winnie Pooh in the Winnie the Pooh uh, books. Of course, and of course, they uh, do. They both do not uh, appreciate it since they pretty much like. Uh, relations with their parents, uh, with his father, becomes a bit uneven. Like, like he doesn't like uh, uh, his tea party in London, and that his parent, and that his parents often went went to New York and went all around the world, and that he pretty much had to take interviews all all the time. Well, for this time, well, for Taylor Princess Gugu, uh, uh, he pretty much uh, famed as. While being famous, uh, pretty much comes with a massive and hefty price. He pretty much likes, uh, why did I do this in the first place? It's kind of like uh, that type of basis. All in all, it's a flawed movie, but despite its flaws, it's a great acting, 
and great a great acting from uh, uh, from Mr. Glazer himself and Margot Robbie and the kid who played Christopher Robin. And of course, despite the uh, the story, which I find was too fast, came off as too fast, and pretty much had similarities to a film I really liked. Although it's an okay film, I understand why people would like it, I understand why people would hate it, and that film would go out uh, within less than two weeks in, in New York, I mean in two weeks in America. Although it's six out of ten, but... Okay, I'll leave it up to you if you'd like to film or not. And this is Elijah Wells, and bye!